good afternoon everybody i'm really excited for the project we're doing today because this is based on an artist that i found on instagram last year and her name is michelle known as mo for short or moology which her site and her artwork is titled by um i found her on instagram was totally inspired by her artwork and wanted to do something based on her art with my fourth graders last year this is the images of her art right here she cuts these pieces from wood shapes typically and then paints these beautiful galaxy type dreamlike artworks in them now she's influenced by the universe and her imagination that's what inspires her to do her work um i find another one a large one uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, constellations in her art, astrology, uh, moon phases, but her artwork is, it just takes you to another place. It has, it's galaxy inspired, very dreamlike. A word known for, as dreamlike is surreal in art. So surreal art is art that's very dreamlike. Um, just amazing and beautiful. Let me get some more pieces up, some of my favorites here. This was a really cool one she did for Halloween. Um, right there. Okay. So I contacted Michelle last year to talk to her about, you know, talk, teaching my students about her work and if there was anything she would like them to know about her. Now, believe it or not, she actually started off as a drummer. Um, so she known also known as a percussionist. She played the drums and then she decided to do her art full time and she's able to do that. And she has this, um, she has a website and she also has her Instagram handle where she sells a lot of her artwork through. She does live auctions all the time. One of these days I'm gonna catch one because usually they're sold out before I can. But I thought it would be fun if we did an art project based on hers. When, when I was in the fourth grade with the kids, we did snowflakes based on her galaxy art. Today we're gonna do some moons. Now I know it looks a little do this fun project. Now the materials you're going to need for this are either a white piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, which I prefer. It's a little bit thicker. Some type of paint. I use an acrylic craft paint. You can use a temper paint. Watercolor would be fine too. Actually, it's just not going to be as deep and rich of colors. You're going to need um, a toothbrush and sponges. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and a paintbrush. So, um, one other thing I want to show you, I'm going to, um, so here's her Instagram handle. You guys can go check her out. You will love to just look at her artwork up close. You're going to get lost in her entire feed. It's amazing. Make sure you have permission from your parents to go on here. That's really important. You can also get onto her website too. All right. So this just shows some of those beautiful artworks a little bit closer for you. All right. So let's get started. Now you're gonna need a piece of cardboard and or a white piece of paper, a writing pencil like a pen or pencil, a pair of scissors, paints in the colors black, blue, purple, and magenta. And you can mix those up and I'll talk to you about that later on in the video. If you don't have some of the colors, you can make your own. You're gonna need some type of sponge and if you don't have a sponge, a wadded up paper towel will work as well. You're also gonna need a little cup of water. So we're going to start with our crescent moon shape and then we're going to start with a large letter C on our cardboard or paper. You could also do a full moon by doing a circle shape and you could trace something circular if you don't can't draw a really great circle. Now we're going to draw another C inside of it starting at the tip and going down. And I'm sketching and sketching is like light feathery drawings that I can fix and extend my moon out a little bit further. And I'm going to paint over it so it's okay if there's lines in there. Now I'm going to cut out my moon next. Now once we've cut, we're gonna begin with our painting and I'm gonna start with my magenta. Now we're gonna start by painting it towards the center of the crescent moon. If you don't have magenta, red and purple mixed together will give you a magenta color. It won't be quite as bright of a pink probably. You could add a little white to make it a little bit brighter. Then you're gonna take your sponge and you're going to get it wet and squeeze it out so it's not soaking wet. Once you've done that, you're then gonna dab this over the magenta color. Okay, it's just gonna give it a little more texture. Now the next color I'm gonna do is purple. This looks almost black, it's a very deep purple, but I'm gonna 
paint it with my brush around the outside edge of the pink. Now I'm probably gonna go off the moon a little bit and that's fine, but I don't wanna cover the whole center right now. Just paint around the outside edges. Now once again, I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm going to dab over the purple and I wanna make sure you're dabbing. You're not wiping with the sponge, you're dabbing, pressing up and down. Now I wanna get it into the magenta color as well. So I'm taking some of that purple and dabbing it into the magenta. I can always add more magenta later. I don't want streaks from the brushes in the paint. I really want it to be dabbed and blended in. Sometimes I'll even take more of the magenta and put it directly on my sponge and add a little bit more on top once I've done the purple to get a little bit more of a brighter color coming through. Because once you start putting like purple on it, it, it gets really dark. Now we're going to take some blue and paint around the outside edge closer to the purple, right to the edge of the moon, and paint that all around. Next. And then I'll take that sponge after I've cleaned it out and dab over the blue and dab it towards the middle again, just like I did with the, um, the purple and the magenta. Now I'm gonna take my black and go all around the outside edge, all around the crescent moon at the very outside edge. Then once again, I take that sponge after I've rinsed it out and dab over the black and bring it into the center again. So dabbing over the black and bringing it into the other paints as well, into the other colors. So it makes it look very like three-dimensional, like it's going deep inside of outer space. Like the black almost is like a window that on the window frame and you're looking into it. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more of the magenta and bring some on top as well. So I'll put some right directly on the sponge and then I'll blend that back in a little bit more also with the black. Just wanted to add a little bit more to brighten it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white paint and a cup and add some water to it and I'm going to mix that up with the paintbrush. Nice and watered down. You can make it even a little bit thicker. It doesn't need to be quite so watery. It's a little bit easier to work with if it's a little thicker. Then I'm going to take my toothbrush and I'm going to dip it in the paint and I'm going to make stars with this. And what's going to happen, I'm going to scrape my thumb down like that but point it down at my moon and it makes it look like realistic stars in outer space as opposed to just individually painting every single star. Now you're gonna let that dry until we start the next part of the project. Now once you've dry, your paint is dried, I'm taking a white color pencil and I'm adding creations that you know are inspired by Michelle's from Moology. So I'm right now making the Big Dipper on my Crescent Moon. You can also use a white crayon, a white oil pastel, if you have like a white paint pen, that would work too, a white gel pen. And I'm just looking it up online if you don't know how to do um, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is a constellation. There's several others as well. There's Little Dipper and many others. So you can look them up online so you know how to create them. Um, you can also create stars like larger stars in the um in the galaxy crescent moon like i'm doing right now sort of like a snowflake shape you make a cross with the x through it um i'm also creating some floral designs to this i've seen a lot of floral designs in some of her galaxy artwork so that's what i'm doing next I'm also adding a moon in mine and more floral designs. So be creative, get inspired by Moe's artwork, and come up with your own ideas as well.
And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I hope it inspired you to make more art and maybe make some more um, Moaji-inspired work. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.